Number 16, this is 2023 Shield Penny in MS68 red condition. It represents a newly discovered highly elusive dye variety which features extra letter V near the initials of Victor David Brenner in Exergy on obverse. Some experts claim it happened as a result of software glitch, others say human factors is responsible. Nevertheless, this is highly sought after scent today and if you have 2023 Penny, in pristine condition, look for extra V under close inspection with magnifying glass or device. These MS68 red gem ended up selling for $1114.86 with buyer's fee on July 16, 2023. Number 15, 1968 S. Jefferson Nickel struck on a proof 1968 cent, highly elusive double denomination coin graded as PR63 red and brown by NGC. The cent undertype is evident on both sides. Most of Liberty from the cent strike is readable near Jefferson's nose. The cent date is on his shoulder. On the reverse, e pluribus unum and one cent from the cent strike are mostly apparent. The Lincoln Memorial appears in ghostly form, tilted left relative to Monticello. It ended up selling for $2,160. Number 14, another error nickel, 1968 S. Jefferson nickel struck on cent planchette. Great as PR66 red by PCGS, it's not often that the Jefferson nickel can be called full red, but that is the case with exemplary of metal proof mint error. Struck flush against the color die at 11 o'clock, the legends are complete. But the date mint mark Liberty and E Pluribus Unum have a stretch appearance from unrestrained outward expansion. It was sold for $2640. Number 13, here is 1967 SMS Lincoln sent in SP65 red cameo condition. Sends from 1965 to 1967, special meat sets can be found with cameo contrast, but deep cameo examples are very rare. This is a magnificent gem that boasts uniform peach gold color. The fields are reflective and devoid of detractions. It fetched a sum of $3,360 in 2018. Number 12, 1967 Washington Quarter from Special Mint Set, graded as SP69 Cameo by PCGS. Special Mint Set 1967 Washington Quarters are plentiful in grades through SP67 but scarce in SP68. This piece is tied for the finest, sharp softly frosted devices complement glimmering mirrored fields and the preservation is incredible. It was sold for $3120. Number 11, this is 1949 Lincoln Sentinel MS67 red condition, CAC proven excellent gem. The 1949 Lincoln Sent is a common date, meaning a significant number of these coins were minted and are available in various conditions. However, achieving a grade as high as MS67 is relatively rare as it indicates a coin that is in excellent condition with full mint luster and minimal imperfections. Lustrous and highly attractive, this rose orange beauty was sold for $4,406.25. Number 10, 1976S Eisenhower dollar in MS68 plus condition, CEC proven superb gem, a virtually pristine beauty with subtle golden highlights to otherwise brilliant surfaces. This popular issue is from one year design type created to celebrate the United States Bicentennial 1976. The silver clad 1976 S. Eisenhower dollar was made expressly for sale to collectors and many high grade examples have survived. Precious few mint state coins however almost reached numismatic perfection in the manner of this gem which fetched the sum of $4320. Number 9, 1912 Lincoln Penny in PR66 brown condition. Outstanding copper brown surfaces exhibit a smooth satiny texture with subtle cobalt blue undertones, also making a strong visual impression. 
Despite published proof mintage of 2,172 pieces, combined population statistics of the major certification services suggest that only about a third of these have survived. It's likely that mod proofs were easily confused by many early 20th century collectors with circulation strike and some examples may have ended up being spent when the coin collections were dispersed. It was sold for $5,581.25. Number 8, this is 1967 SMS half dollar in MS68 condition, comes with ultra cameo designation. The 1967 was the most well made of the special mint set half dollar struck from 1965 to 1967. Ultra cameo examples of this date routinely show deep cameo contrast reminiscent of the proofs they were struck in place of. The nearly flawless example especially showcases stark contrast with glimmering fields and luminous frosty devices. It fetched the sum of $3,960 at auction. Number 7. This is 1968 Dale Inkland Sand struck on a 90% silver dime planchette. Double error coin which comes with off-center strike as well. For the dime denomination, the US Mint switched from 90% silver planchettes to clad planchettes in 1965. According to Heritage, a stockpile of silver dime planchets remained, and these were coined with 1964 dated dies, though production continued a year or two later until the planchet stock was exhausted. The present error may be a unique off metal mint error in that transitional alloy, struck clearly off center towards 730. The date and the mint mark are complete, though the mint mark and the final date digits are softly defined. It was sold for $5,760. Number 6. This is incredibly rainbow-toned 1964 Kennedy of dollar in MS67 Plus condition. MS67 Plus indicates a coin is in mid state 67 Plus condition, which means it is almost in perfect condition with only minor imperfections visible under magnification. Higher grades are rare and can add value to the coin. Rainbow toning is a colorful and attractive patina that develops on the surface of some coins over time due to exposure to environmental elements. Collectors often find rainbow toned coins visually appealing and such toning can increase the coin's desirability and value. This gem with outstanding eye appeal ended up selling for $8156.25 with buyer's fee. Number 5, 1937 Buffalo Nickel and PR66 Plus Cameo Condition. The finest of these are CEC endorsed. This brilliant glimmering example displays bold central sharpness and satiny devices which provide appreciable contrast against the mirrored fields. The proof 1937 Buffalo Nickel is plentiful in grades through PR67, although almost all examples lack defined cameo contrast. It was sold for $10,800 on July 20th, 2023. Number 4, 1952D Jefferson Nickel in MS67 condition was full steps. Understanding a full steps example is more likely to be submitted in the first place is important when, when considering the relative rarity of these coins. This brilliant super gem with delicate champagne toning over frosty mint luster just misses six complete steps on the reverse. It was sold for $16,450. Number 3, 1953s Franklin half dollar in MS64 condition with full bell lines. The 1953s is a notorious strike rarity within the Franklin half series. Uncirculated pieces are easy enough to find, but in situations similar to the 1945p full bands dime, only a minuscule percentage of these pieces meets the requirements for the full bell lines. This elusive coin ended up selling for $18,000. Number 2, 1928 S Silver Peace Dollar in MS65 condition, CAC proven superb gem. The angelic snowy white centers of this substantial rarity are adorned with faintest bronze iridescence near the borders. 
comprehensive and satin is a luster blankets of fields and devices without interruption, showcasing the superior preservation and softly cartwheeling at a tilt. It was sold for $28,800. Number one, this is 1969s Lincoln scent with double dye verse. The 1969s double dye verse has been called the king of Lincoln scent varieties. The variety was first recognized in mid 1970s, but the discovery coins were declared counterfeit and even seized by U.S. Secret Service. Later, service reversed its position on, its, on this issue and declared the 1969s double dye verse legitimate. Publicity about the coins created intense interest in the issue as collectors embarked on a nationwide search of bankrolls, hoping to find any example of this storied issue. This spectacular choice specimen exhibits sharply detailed design elements throughout, with characteristic of worse doubling especially evident on all letters and numbers. It ended up selling for $51,600. Thanks for watching guys, subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights into hidden treasures and valuable collectibles. Have a good one.